स्पीड क्यूबैंक आई हैड ऑलमोस्ट सॉल्व ऑल द कार्डियोलॉजी क्वेश्चन ऑलमोस्ट आई हैड लिसन टू हिज ऑलमोस्ट ऑल द कार्डियोलॉजी वीडियोज एंड द स्लाइड्स आर ऑल्सो अवेलेबल विच बिकम वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट ड्यूरिंग द रिविजन सेशन and two uh, very well uh, different uh, things are that he has compiled all the landmark trials sir uh, the landmark trials from last years also and this year also up till may what were the recent trials and uh, the recent acc conference he had uh, included that as well so that uh, and one question sir they they would ask a trial on this april this april only the danger shock trial which they had mentioned and uh, especially this trial sir he had mentioned in the mock interview as well So I bring in all the wishes and greetings and we have of all the faculty members to Dr. Kumbhar Saurabh Shivaji for scoring country's topmost rank of AML rank number one in the super speciality of DM cardiology uh, in any SS session April 2024. Congratulations to you, Doctor. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. Great. Now, can we know a brief background history from where you started till date? What all you have done? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, I have uh, done my MBBS from uh, BJ Government Medical College in uh, Pune, Maharashtra, sir. After that, uh, I joined for uh, MD Medicine in uh, AIMS Rishikesh, uh, and in uh, January 2021, and I completed my MD Medicine this year in January 24, and after which uh, I prepared for my INI, sir. Fantastic. So, your primary exam was INI or NEET? Uh, INI, sir. Fantastic. So, can we know? why cardiology uh yes sir actually there are multiple reasons sir uh, firstly i would say that uh, the prevalence of uh, ca- cardiovascular diseases is very high especially in uh, our country and so that uh, cat- uh, cardiology caters to a lot of population and patient burden so that was first reason uh, second reason was sir uh, personal reason for liking sir uh, since my mbbs sir when, since i started learning physiology from there there onwards i was interested towards uh, cardiovascular sciences and then uh, that uh, got consolidated in my medicine postings as well as during my medicine residency and therefore i chose to go ahead with my uh, cardiology as a career and uh, a lot of research is going on max- almost maximum research is going on in cardiovascular medicine so that was another reason to go with cardiology sir great great wonderful doctor now can we know uh, once you have decided to go on with cardiology and uh, and after you, you have finished in january 2024 and yes. february and march and then april is the exam yes. so this two yes. months what all you did when you started your preparation you started only after your uh, program of pg or even before that can we know the details of that yes sir uh, no actually i had uh, decided for cardiology in almost uh, second year of my uh, medicine residency after that uh, as much i would uh, try to uh, read as much as i could for cardiology sir but uh, did not do a dedicated study uh, during uh, especially uh, during the second and third year then uh, in my final semester uh, i started for uh, dedicated studies towards cardiology sir and uh, with that uh, uh, background sir i was uh, prepared for uh, cardiology and uh, during my first attempt uh, for uh, ini i had given in november last year sir so uh, that time uh, i was a uh, uh, common rank i had uh, 23 and uh, aims rank i was uh, th- 32 so it went back uh, uh, aml went back yeah i am actually went back uh, because i was not w- very well prepared for the interview and i was simultaneously appearing for my md ex- exams also during residency so i could not get a desired rank so i decided to uh, give another attempt and So, what you did from that NESS, from now be NESS to this NESS, what all things happened? Uh, first thing is that uh, I had a, a background of uh, notes which I had already prepared during my first attempt, and uh, on top of that, I would uh, do the question banks and add some question, add some information which was not there in the notes, so that I could have a, a single source for revision. So that was a different thing I did, and. Uh, Uh, some uh, part i could uh, read the tables from brown world uh, the common questions from and the co- common topics especially the tables sir tables and figures from brown world that i could do uh, differently which i could not do during my last time because of uh, time constraint so the that was one thing other is that uh, i solved a lot of uh, uh, questions especially from the uh, uh, speed uh, q bank 
I had uh, almost uh, solved all the cardiology questions. I could not complete the general medicine part very well, but I did focus on the cardiology part. Uh, and uh, that uh, that two things I did differently, sir. Roundwall tables and uh, solving more number of MCQs and tests. So, what about your Brownwald videos? I mean, did you uh, watch and go through Dr. Asim's uh, Brownwald yes, videos? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, sir, those uh, that name is very true, sir. Brownwald based cardiology classes, and sir has covered beautifully from the cardiology part all the tables which are important, which are must know from a, a medicine. Uh, resident which they will be asking so that he has covered he has covered almost entire brown world and uh, he and those are very helpful and some topics and some uh, uh, questions questions are directly from the uh, tables so that uh, part he has done very well and uh, almost i had uh, listened to his almost uh, all the uh, cardiology videos uh, and uh, the slides are also available which have become very important during the revision session and two uh, very well uh, different uh, things are that he has compiled all the landmark trials, sir. Uh, the landmark trials from last year's also, and this year also up till May. What were the recent trials and uh, the recent ACC conference? He had uh, included that as well. So that uh, and one question, sir. They they would ask a trial on this April. This April only the danger shock trial, which they had mentioned, and uh, especially this trial, sir. He had mentioned in the mock interview as well. He had asked a question on this. <laughs> yes, sir. Just the uh, name, they won't uh, go into the details. But uh, sir had uh, told, uh, sir had discussed this in the uh, mock interview as well. So that was one thing which I could promptly answer, which I think... Same question came in the interview also. Uh, sir, they asked uh, a trial, uh, recent trial for uh, a trial evidence for Impella, which was the danger shock trial. And that I could, uh, just the name they had asked. Uh, which sir had discussed so that was a prompt answer which i think they uh, the examiners did really like <laughs> so you you were able to watch all the videos of brown World. almost almost all sir uh, yes sir i i did uh, try some uh, topics might have been uh, left but uh, i did watch a, a lot of videos and uh, during the revision also i uh, refer to the slides from sir, the app yeah, you are very disciplined, very meticulous uh, in putting things across <laughs> in a very concise and compact at the same time to know everything on that. And it was consistently, I mean, the, the cardiology department and speed has been producing this one to five results every year on year for past five years. Definitely, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, I have the seniors whose photos I used to see on the app uh, and I used to talk to them. They had mentioned that uh, it's a must. And the source, the source has been exceptional, sir, for preparation. And today, your poster is also there. <laughs> it will be there in the app, so everybody when they scroll, <laughs> your juniors uh, will have a look at it. Yes, sir. So you have earned the space in the place. <laughs> Thank you. Sir. Thank you. So it's something which is very unique and great. And Thank you. Sir. Fantastic. Now, number of questions you attended? Uh, I left uh, three questions, sir, this time. Uh, out of 80, I attempted 77 questions. So, how was your general medicine preparation? Did you prepare it or only focus on cardiology? Uh, yeah, I tried to, sir. Uh, during the, most of my day, I used to uh, spend on reading cardiology uh, from the videos, from the notes and solving Q banks. And some part of the day, especially during the night time, uh, three, four, three hours before sleeping, I used to try to go through the general medicine part. Uh, the general medicine part actually uh, is very vast, sir. So you uh, cannot go into that much depth as we go for uh, cardiology. Uh, that which is not required also. But uh, sometimes you cannot cover the entire uh, general medicine portion. So the main main topics and especially the uh, repeat questions, I try to try to look at the entire topic, such as uh, one question was on uh, altitude sickness last time, and the same uh, altitude sickness topic was covered uh, this this time also, and the question on the just the paragraph below the previous question was asked. So the topics are they will stick to some topics, if not the exact repeat question, but the topics will be similar. So we we'll try to cover those to topics as well. Great. So, you went through the 21st edition of Harrison? 
uh, I could not complete, sir. I tried to, but uh, ma- major parts, uh, as much as I could read, that I did, but uh, I could not complete the entire. Uh, it's it's a very vast subject. Sir. Okay. Now, uh, can you share uh, some of your preparation uh, strategy, the mindset of uh, preparing for this interview? And because interview also has a very important role. I mean, what did yes, you do sir. and how did you mentally prepare and what preparation you did yes, and what all they asked? Something can share on that will be useful for the yes, students. Sir. Yes, sir. Uh, the main advantage was that having given one previous interview, sir, I was aware of, of, of the questions they will ask. So first they will ask about the uh, introduction, where did you complete your uh, MD, MBBS? And then they will ask first question for almost everyone would be about your uh, MD thesis. So uh, that you have to prepare. If it's a cardiology th- related thesis, they, you should be thoroughly prepared with it. Uh, I, fortunately, I did not have a, a cardiology related, so they did not ask me. They just asked about a conclusion. And the thesis uh, part should be very short, that just the title of the thesis and they will ask about the conclusions the and the major findings they do not want to go oh, how do, will you how did you calculate the sample size what were the inclusion criteria unless it's a cardiology related thesis and so you should be crisp you should have a very crisp uh, statement about your thesis that will be your opening question and then uh, they will uh, it's a panel of four or five questions uh, four or five examiners so uh, one one question each almost they will ask and first question was on uh, inferior wall MI. A, a patient has a shock and inferior wall MI. So uh, what are the treatment approaches and how will you evaluate this patient further? So uh, this it was a clinical question. So we had to uh, start from the basic. Uh, how will you evaluate bedside? How will you evaluate clinically with ECHO? And, and based on that, uh, the... Uh, Question, the further questions will come. So if they will ask that, no, the patient is not responding to vasopressors. Next, what will you do? You will take him to cath lab. Next, what will you do? Even if you have uh, revascularized the patient, next, what will you do? So until that, and then they will ask, then the questions. Uh, so basically, they will uh, see your approach. And then they will uh, ask some, like uh, the impella, the shock related to this. Uh, then they will ask, are you aware of any recent trial about this? So... Uh, that was a part and one question i think uh, uh, a pediatric cardiology faculty is there and he will uh, definitely ask one pediatric cardiology question uh, the major topics uh, they he will ask and uh, this uh, you should be uh, they will not go into very much depth they will not go into very much uh, intervention like oh, how will you identify guide wires or something he will, they will not ask they will see your basic uh, approach to this and you, if you are thorough with your uh, theory preparation, I think you can uh, answer almost 90-95% of the questions. Sir. Great, Doctor. Now, what will be your message to your juniors or aspirants of uh, DM cardiology? Because DM cardiology is uh, some heart and prime seat. The people mostly aspire for it. Yes, and what will be your advice for them? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, firstly, I will say that uh, if you are... Uh, going for a dm you should uh, choose your like the earlier you choose your branch the better it is so that you can start your uh, preparations and preparation for ini prepare and preparation for need b- both are having some different approaches so uh, based on what exam you are targeting you should uh, go through the pattern of the exam and uh, target for the uh, specific studies so for uh, specifically for cardiology i would say that uh, the uh, cardiology basic crux what you see during your medicine uh, that won't be uh, sufficient uh, for writing the ini exam it, it might be sufficient for the neat exam but uh, for ini you have to go in depth and you have to read about uh, read brown, not brown words but uh, you should have a good source and the source will definitely help you because you cannot cover entire brown words in your during your md or during your six months of preparation you should know what are the important topics you should know what are the areas to focus on and uh, those are very well covered uh, by uh, asim sir also and uh, he, he, that is the main advantage that with the, this uh, speed app that uh, they will tell you which area to focus on We cannot complete uh, cardiology, but uh, we can definitely uh, complete the speed videos uh, at least once. uh, And uh, which is also very extensive, sir. But you should try. So you should go be thorough with that. uh, You should be thorough with your theory. 
and uh, next equally important thing is that you should be thorough with uh, practicing mcqs uh, because it's a 90 minute exam but with 80 questions but it goes by so fast and you cannot spend time thinking on a single question for a lot, 5 minutes 6 minutes uh, and uh, this exam will uh, test your knowledge and will test your uh, application of that knowledge as well so uh, practicing uh, knowledge you will get through reading this uh, uh, through the th uh, videos and uh, notes but uh, how to apply that knowledge you might be knowing but how to apply that how to uh, deduce that answer from the uh, qu clinical question if they have given so that application will only come with the uh, practicing of mcqs so based on the you should practice mcqs and give as many tests as you can great doctor no time to thank and whom all you want to thank you can Take this platform and thank who have built your career so far. Definitely. Help your career to build. Firstly, I would like to thank all my mentors, sir, and especially Asim, sir, for his uh, for his support and his uh, his efforts, sir. In uh, even he will uh, take the recent edition also from the brown words and tell what are the additions, what is different, everything, and the recent sources, recent trials, everything he will comp uh, compile very well. which becomes very handy during the last days of preparation where you cannot go in depth about everything so that i would like to thank sir, uh, sir for this uh, extremely valuable source uh, after that uh, for, i would like to thank my parents and my sister for uh, being there with me for constantly supporting me and uh, rest i would like to thank almighty all my friends and uh, families who have been there with me very nice wonderful doctor so very very brief detailed interview of uh, things to be done do's and all that would be really motivating the students who want to do it yes sir, that would be uh, if i am able to motivate then it's a good thing sir yes so because you waited actually see you waited for uh, from the previous uh, in ess yes, and uh, yes i can do it that perseverance Yes, yes, sir. Belief in you, the self-confidence. Yes, sir. Uh, it was like chasing a dream for me uh, to get this, and that was the motivation behind this. So commendable, na? Right? How commendable it is! A role model, na? Right? It's a role model making. It's a role model interview. <laughs> so great. So we once again we wish you on behalf of all the faculties, Dr. Asim, the entire team of Speed. We wish you yes, all yes. the very best and all the success for a very, very, very great and wonderful. Uh, cardiology uh, mch super speciality post graduation ship and yes. and other cardiologists in evolving and you're going to treat millions of people and thank definitely you, you will do thank great all the best to you once again thank you sir thank, thank you so you. much thank sir you.